What's up YouTube? It's SFN Ability JP back with another video. So, uh, um, yeah, as you can see by the title, part two of the Bullhead, Bullhead Gangs. I'm just going to get straight into it. Basically, I've been looking online, doing some research, and I found one that's similar to Bullhead Gangs. It's about a retired Bulldog gang member and how he's using his education to come to combat gun violence in France. So here's a picture of Alfred Alfredo, sorry, Alfredo Gonzalez. He's 42 um, years old. He's in prison um, for gun crime. I mean not that gun gang crime, sorry. And he basically says that he would have done anything for bull for the bulldog gangs. Um, he would have done murder, he would have done assault with a deadly weapon, he would have done basically anything for them. Um, he's in prison now and basically he's basically trying to um, turn his life around, you know? Um, I mean, he's 42, he's been in prison for quite a lot, for a long time, from what I've read, from what I understand. And I'm not going to read it all because there is a lot to go through. And I want to keep this video really short, so I'm just like picking out important stuff and then you can share your views and, and opinions on it or whatever. He's basically um, doing, um, doing some, he's doing, taking education in class, um, taking education classes in prison and he's done quite a few, you know, quite a few stuff like um, business, he's done I think he's done like criminology, you know, he's, he's also doing um, humanities, humanities and business studies, sociology, American studies, behavioural science, social and behavioural science, sorry. So he's done, he's done a quite a lot and what he's trying to do, and he's also going to law school when he gets out of prison, that's his hope. I'm not, not sure if he's out of prison yet, I haven't read the full thing, because as I said, there's quite a lot of stuff here. But from what I understand, he's in prison for, for gang crime. And with that gang crime, he's now retired, and he wants to get other people, like I said, he wants to get other gang members out of the situation that they're in. So he's trying to, as he's trying to turn his life around, he's basically saying, if I can turn my life around whilst I'm inside, you can do it too. Um, he's trying to like also just give them a better life, you know, tell them that there are other, there's another path you can take and not the path that you think you should take. So, I mean, he's been a gang member for years, according to this, and um, he's basically just trying all his, trying all, all that he can to get through all to these educations, get through all these classes and pass them, get a degree, so when he gets out, he can help others who's in the same situation as him. He said he, can, he wants to be the best bulldog slash gang member he can be. In other words, he's no longer in, in, in the gang, but you know he's trying to change his life around and trying to make a difference and help others to make a difference as well. My opinion on this is that I think it's a good idea. Um, I mean, first off, when you leave a gang, uh, do you really leave a gang? I mean, unless you're, a, unless you're a girl and you're pregnant, they don't want no harm to come to a child, so they have to let you go. Or am I wrong? I don't know the situations, I don't know. I have never been in the gang and I wouldn't want to. But, he's now retired, so, I mean, can't, if you're in a gang, doesn't that mean that you're still, and you try to escape, you try to get out of that situation, can't they just have you killed? I mean, like, they know people in prison, don't they? So, you're still easy to get to, even if you're not on the outside, if that makes sense. Like drug dealers or whatever, if you snitch on someone and you go inside, they know people that can or they know people inside prison that can get to you. So there's always a way of getting to you, I guess. 
But from what I understand, he no longer wants to be a part of the gang. He's retired. He wants to better himself. He wants to make a change. And I'm all for it. If you're willing to make a change and change your life around, good on you. Now, I just think, is it possible to leave a gang or are you in the gang until you die? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, you know, it's a bit like the Bullhead gangs, you know. Um, when you leave a gang, do you actually, do you really leave a gang just because you're inside? I don't know. But if you can, then good luck to you. Good luck to you. And for this guy, Alfredo, I praise him because he doesn't want that life anymore. He doesn't want that life for anybody. And he's trying to make a change. He's trying to tell people, this isn't the life for you. I've been there. I know what I'm talking about. I've seen it, done it. I will tell you things or whatever. So, but now here's me today telling you that, that there is a way of getting out. You don't need to live that life anymore. And for that, like I said, I praise him for that because, you know, he's trying to make a difference to people's lives. He's trying to make a difference to his own life. And everybody deserves, everyone deserves a chance. Everyone deserves to respect. And I respect him because he's making a change for himself. Not for anybody else. He's making a change for himself to start off with. Because the only way you can help others is if you help yourself first. You make a change in your life and then you can change other people's. You can help them to change theirs. You can actually show them how it's done. So yeah, I do praise him for that. I absolutely praise him and I respect him for that as well. Um, but yeah, it's a gun, you know, gang culture. It is a big thing in America. We all know that. Very dangerous as well. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know this is a blunt video, but my battery's dying. And I just wanted to like basically say, you know, this is the guy. If you want to look it up, I will put his details in a thing. I'll, you know, so you, you just, I'll put his website or the website or whatever. You can actually Google it, actually. I'll put the, his name in the description. I'll tag him, actually. I'll tag him. And then you can just Google it and you can read about it yourself. And, you know, so, and let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. And we can talk about it in another video or whatever. Um, thank you guys for watching. I know this is very quick and fast and it's straight to the point and I think that's what people want. So yeah, I praise him and good luck to him. And good luck to you guys and I will um, see you in the next video. Catch you on the flip side, peace.